Hey guys, uh, Ruby build is still on hold because the last few bits and pieces are still in transit, but I decided this week I'm going final mental effort and force myself to do something I was postponing, postponing and postponing forever, which is, was our own Dazlab test bench. I was asked so many times how to select this and that and which is performs better and basically I don't even know I only can read some information on the forum or see somebody else test and nothing was verified in the past I have a really bad experience with uh, third party testings because I tried to recreate it and it didn't match so I always take information from internet on a gra with grant of salt and of course you will can do the same against me but at least i can clear my own conscience about a couple questions that i have in my mind like is it worthwhile to make push pull and how really sickness of radiator uh, gives you how much performance increase and things like this which is i have some idea on my own but i would like to verify it on practical basis so we're going to start building today our test bench I'm going probably to push you in fast forward because I'm not going to talk much. I just would like to build it as much as I could and you can just enjoy it very fast with some music on the ground. But before I do that, I would like to thank you Case Labs one more time. This guy is just awesome. I have really great support with these people and uh, um, I really like them, honestly. So anyways, so the case that I'm going to build, which is the first part and hopefully might be put some uh, hardware into it as well is a s8 test bench so it's basically same as a ruby build type of the case but it will be shorter have no side panels things like this um, it still will allow me to put a bunch of radiators and uh, open concept of it allow to put things in and out very relatively easily so I will going to build it based on whatever parts I have. I probably will have to cannibalize a few of my own builds. So Silent Sniper going finally to die. And also my Mocha build unfortunately I have to kill it as well. And reuse some parts from it. But you know we have a higher target that we need to hit. And I think it's definitely worth it. And I don't need so many computers anyway. Alright so let's start building. And um, I'm really looking forward to raise it and finish it fully today, but uh, we'll see how fast it will take me to do so. And here we go, our Dazlab test bench has been born, assembled it complete. One thing I have to correct myself because some of you who knows product line from Kzabs pretty well might be scratching their heads right now. This is not S8 
test bench. It's actually incomplete S8 case. And the reason for that, I completely forgot about this, but we discussed with Case Labs how we can make something that I can easily change radiators and make um, uh, different configuration easily. And one of the, my requirements was that I want to use different drop-in units for different radiator, radiator models. And it wasn't possible on standard S8 uh, test bench unit. So we decided to go for incomplete S8 and this way I can use all the standard parts just in a regular way. And it will be much easier for me to conduct my tests that I have in my head. So. For now, I have to switch to slightly different activity. We'll put you on fast forward again. I need to start salvage, salvaging parts from two of my other builds that unfortunately will be finished their life today, but uh, we have a high target to achieve and we'll go for it.